Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today we're going to talk about MailRush. This is going to be a quick overview of MailRush so you can decide if this is a deal for you or not. So let's go jump over to MailRush and check out what it's about right now. All right, this is the MailRush dashboard, and it's a cold email marketing service. Now, one of the things that MailRush does is that the emails are sent through their server, so we don't have to have hosting. For example, we just need to buy a domain and we can start using it right here. But we do need to set up the DNS for that. So this is really important that we do that to even get started. So you can't use MailRush if you don't set up the DNS. Now I will be showing you the quick basic setup of a DNS right here. So you actually get started really quickly. So before we even jump into the features of this, the overview, let me show you how the DNS is set up. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do in MailRush is go into the settings right here and you're gonna get the DNS settings that you have to add into your DNS, all right? So it's the records. And I'm gonna give you an example on Cloudflare and on Namecheap. So let's just say right here, we need to add the A type right here, and we need to add this host name and this value. Okay, it's not complex, don't worry. Let's just say you're using Cloudflare, go to your domain, go into DNS, and then we add a record. So in this case, we're gonna select the type of record. Is it gonna be the A, the C name, and it's gonna be the MX and TXT, which is down here, right? Those are the ones that we have to add. See that right here? A, A MX, TXT, C name. We start adding those to have the service working. Once you add those, you will validate and you get a pass on these, and it's ready to use on MailRush. Now let's just say you're using um, Namecheap, and you just bought a domain, but you're not using hosting. Okay, in Namecheap, you go to do your domain list, you go to advanced DNS, and this is where you add the same values that you see over there. So you add a new record. And again, we select the type of record that we're going to add. Once you add those, you're ready to go. Now, the DNS is gonna look the same in the cPanel, on the other type of services for email, for servers. It's gonna look the same. You just add those records there and validate. You will get a pass and it's ready to go. The reason I'm telling you this is because you can't get started on MailRush if you don't set this up first. Okay, so let's go into the dashboard. And the first thing that we're gonna do is create a brand new campaign. So this is where we're gonna see how powerful this actually is. So let's just say testing for video, okay? Let's add a brand new campaign. And we have two ways of adding contacts. So one is add a single contact right here. Let's just say you wanna send it to one person for now. Or you add a CSV right here and you add all of them then you link the columns into each one. So for example, a CSV must have the name, the email, and these are custom fields that you might want to use. So for example, custom one could be the, I don't know, uh, if it's if he's subscribed, is he from uh, email marketing, is he from a giveaway, is he from such company? You can add those fields right there and use those custom fields for that. In this case, we'll add a single one just for testing purposes, and we'll call this one George, and I'll add my Gmail right there. Let's save this contact. Again, we can add custom fields right here. I wish the custom fields can be edited so they don't say custom one, custom two. That would be a nice feature to have, but they don't have that yet. Okay, let's save that contact. And now we jump into the email template right here. Now there's available templates that you can create before this and have them right here, or you can start from zero and just add it right here. So for example, bold, italic, the information right here, or if you wanna add the HTML code view right here. So if you wanna add a more complex theme, that's added right there. Again, this is something I wish they had. I wish they had HTML templates that look really nice already. So we can have an email editor that's more complex than just the basic text right here. So I'm gonna select one of the templates I already created. And this is an introduction. So this is going to be the sender name, the sender's email, and the subject that I'm gonna add. Now check this out, I am using variables that I am using down here. So for example, I can set the name, so let's just say I'm going right here. Well, it's already here. Hi and name, right? So that's a variable that's gonna grab from each of the information that you add. So for example, the sender name that I added is called George. So in that case, it's gonna say, hi, George. So it's gonna use that variable. And if I use the company, if I use other custom fields that I want to add right there, it's gonna make it more customizable. And you can use that in the subject and in the text field right here. Now you're gonna get some information here on the left with th that's things that you can add. It, no, it's advice that you want to use. For example, if I delete all of this, all right, it's gonna update right here and it's saying, you know what, short template body, not using personalization, not using content spinning, and oh, command Z, and we go back and it, it takes away those. So it's, it's gonna take you time to get those right so you have a good email sent out, all right? So let's just say you like what you see right here. This is one of the ways that you can start an email or we can go to automation. We can save the template 
and do a send out, all right? But let's just say we want we want to make it more complex and more futuristic, so we can go to automation. They have the automation right here, and you can add these type of fields for now. Um, again, uh, these are not a lot of fields. The automation is not really powerful right now, but at, but at least there's automation, right? I wish they, it was more complex with more type of fields. Let's just say we want to add one of these predefined ones, three-step follow-up, all right? So let's just say we want to proceed. And what it's going to do, okay, it's going to send out the first email, the one we wrote at the beginning. And if the email is, is replied, then it's going to stop, all right? But if they don't reply to that email, it's going to send out a second email, and then the third one, and then the fifth one. Now, we can say other variables, like, for example, if the email is opened on email two, then just leave it like that. Don't bother this person. Don't send out a third email. To edit that email, we're going to double-click on it. And this is the email. It gives you, like, a predefined information that you might want to use, but you can remove that and add something else, right? You can add send email to the subject, change that, add some more variable fields, or select another template that's built already. So those are the emails that are already there. And you can add more fields right here if you want to make it more complex. Like I said before, it's different type of automations that you can add. For example, this one already e um, email is open. Haven't used that, okay. So if the email is open, then we can stop the automation. If it's not, then we can continue sending emails or we can just say, you know what, this person might get bothered, so we stop there. Or if an email is clicked, that means they are interested in something that they saw in that email. Well, we might we might want to send them another type of email or such and such, right? It's, it's a variable that you might want to use. And the email is replied, well, it's the first one that we saw right there. That's how the automation works. And we can also view the contact list if we need to add more right here or if we want to proceed with more actions right there. So for example, Let's just say we have actions to add a contact, validate selected emails, set all blocks to pending, and so on and so forth, right? So this is the contact list. Let's go back. These are the email uh, templates that we're starting, the campaigns. And this is the one we created right now, okay? Testing for email. And we have one recipient right there, and there's zero sent emails. So this is the email rates that we have right here. So open rate, click rate, reply rate, and we have that information once we send it out, obviously. For now, there's nothing. We have, we can edit that template right here. We can edit more information, contact list, match labels, subscription form. That's a good one because you can embed it on your site and you can have people subscribe and jump into that list. So it starts the email process automatically. Sending hours, email frequency, email follow-ups, manage groups, clone campaign, and delete campaign. Let me show you one of the tests I sent. I sent it out to two recipients, one open and one didn't open, right? And we'll view that right here. So delivered and the opens and there's no clicks on it. I didn't put it in. I didn't put any links there, but that's how it goes, right? And you have the unsubscribe, complaints, bounces. This good thing that they show the complaints. That's for the campaigns. Next thing we have are the templates right here. Remember I selected one of the templates. Well, they are created right here. I can add a brand new template, created from zero and save that. So it's right here, so I can use it later on. Like I said before, I wish they had an email builder that's powerful and not just that text one. But if that's good for you, then that works, right? Well, unless you want to put the HTML code inside, that even works also. Okay, next thing we have is the inbox. There's also an inbox where it's replied to this email. If you want to use that, so you got the inbox, replies, bounce, and sent, all from right here that you can use. And there's additional service that's not included that's the email warm-up. So for example, if you want to pay for email warm-ups, that's $30 a month, $75 a month for more emails, so on and so forth. That's not included. What is an email warm-up? An email warm-up is meant to send out uh, fake emails. So they are opened fakely and it makes a process and it makes your account uh, work. So it looks more normal and it, it doesn't look like a spam email. So let's just say you just open up an email, a brand new one, and you start sending out a bunch of like a hundred emails. Well, it's going to send out, it's going to go to the spam list, right? To the spam folder. But if you warm it up, it's going to go into the direct folder. So that's the, how email warm up works, but that's not included in this deal. So basically that is the overview of mail rush. Um, I think for now it's pretty basic. I hope they add more features. But if the features that you see right now work for you with the email templates you just want to send out, you want to create some basic automation and have it ready, then it's good to go. Um, one last thing, there's the integrations. Uh, where's that? 
need to find the integrations right there just want to show you those uh, there's a wordpress one zapier and keen io which i haven't heard of but those are the automations that you have to put those emails inside of those campaigns so they start sending out automatically every single time well there you go guys that is mail rush and if you guys want to grab the deals going on that link will be in the description i thank you for watching my name is george and this is sas master i'll see you guys later